What's up everybody, it's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, and yes it's true, the winter update is here, we've seen things hit the forums, we've seen hit things hit the Clash of Clans blog, go check them out for yourself to get all the, all the documentation, all the stuff they've put out on it so far. Basically what we have is we have some kind of clan event where the whole clan will be able to participate in, and do certain uh, events together. Uh, and you can in the clan I guess will earn communal uh, rewards for it. They haven't really gone into what what exactly it's going to be yet They had some cool pictures that we just decided to post up that didn't really mean much as far as what they're all saying because at the end of it it basically said uh, It gave a brief explanation of what's actually gonna happen and, and like we said before it's just uh, Multiplayer attacks in the home village that could be pretty cool uh, versus battles in the builder base and then uh, collective collective rewards for doing these events together we'll have to see what that really is uh, it sounds like a pretty big part of the game I don't know if, how long it's gonna be part of the game if it's a temporary thing or if it's kind of like Clash Royale where you have two versus two battles which is some of my favorite parts of that game so the balancing update though this is what's kind of the shocking news for everyone if, if you haven't watched anyone else yet it's gonna and you play for a while it's gonna kind of blow you away uh, now this part does it. We all know that there's a lot of people that stay in Town Hall 9. The Perma 9s. Uh, they stay in Town Hall 9 because Town Hall 10 is too tough for them. Uh, they, don't, they don't want the elite defenses. They don't, they don't want to... They just don't advance past Town Hall 9. And I guess uh, the developers really want to try to influence people to go to Town Hall 10, go to Town Hall 11. So they, they buffed the offense. That was the Golem. It got a pretty big buff. Lava Hound's getting a buff. Uh, they're... they're they're bumping up their hit points to to some of these uh, to the tanks basically to to help along your the the attacks and maybe the the players that aren't quite as skilled. I, I, I'll say it right now that this this update's not going to make a lot of the elite players happy, and I just wonder how many. Oh, and by the way, I talked through that one, but that was the um, the miners going from five to six housing space. Getting 25 more walls that you can max out. Uh, army camps for all, all of you that have already maxed out the army camps, where you now have one more level. Usually that means five more troops per camp, so we have, that's another 20 troops. So a lot of the offensive troops, the tanks are getting buffed. Um, we have 20 more troops. They are nerfing. This is a nerf. The nerf alert. Nerfing the expos a little bit, which is odd because they just they actually just came out with. This big thing on how uh, the, the Expos are supposed to be this tremendous uh, defense and they want to put the fear back in the Expo. Some more buffs as far as the offense go. Five more levels for, for the Barbarian King. He will now max out at 50. So, and, and there's a decreased cost to all the lower levels. So that's pretty good. And I'm wondering if it's going to be a decrease in time as well because they were talking about that. Archer Queen... Just like the king, she goes to level 50, and there will be a bunch of decreases as far as her costs in all previous levels as well. So that's pretty good. That's um, a, a lot of people have a hard time with these, with especially the higher end archer king, uh, archer queen, and barbarian king, because they get pretty expensive. So maxed queen will be the same price as it is now, but because it goes to 50 now instead of 45, that's that's where that starts. But really, this is the big news right here: Infernal Towers will no longer block the heal spell or the healer's ability so and this is what you know this, this wasn't going to be the entire video but it is now <laughs> because this is a major major difference in the game and uh, we're going to go into some of the things um first why you know why why change one of the most iconic defenses in the game and I think that the reason, the reason behind it, it, there is a good reason behind it, and it's because a lot of players can't, they can't deal with the Infernal Towers. They'll stay at Town Hall 9 because they can't, they, you know, as soon as they get to Town Hall 10, or they face any Town Hall 10s, the Infernal Towers just destroy them. They're intimidating to a large population of the game. So they actually just stay away from them altogether, and that kind of takes, takes away that part of the game for all them. 
Um, now, who will that help and hurt? Now, it's going to help all of the lower, not, and I, I say lower players, but all the players that haven't been playing quite as long. Um, a lot of your leisurely players that play a few times a day, maybe. Uh, who it's going to hurt are the, the elite of Clash of Clans. It's going to hurt all of the, the players that really compete, that, that play at the, the top level. Because it's going to be hard for them to defend. It's going to be hard for them to build bases that can defend. Now we will get into how they can in, in a minute. Um, now how can this affect the engineered topic? And this we're going to get into a little more in a minute too. But there will be some pretty big effects. And I'm wondering how m You know, I know that Supercell understands. And it's one thing they understand well. Is that the smallest changes have big impacts on the game. So when they make changes to troops, they may in increase their hit points by ten if they have uh, if they have a thousand. Um, you know, they they change the witch's like damage per second by a couple of points, and it changes the troop completely. So they understand how little changes make big big uh, have big effects in the game. Knowing all of this, and it gets me wondering exactly what's really going on. <laughs> Uh, I know that people are already starting to get scared. You, you hear all, a lot of good players starting to complain already, and I don't blame them. Uh, but I think there's probably going to be more to it than we think as, as of right now. I'm thinking uh, there's probably a new defense or a new troop coming out because you, I, I just can't see them changing one of their most important defenses for Town Hall 10. You know, the Infernal Towers are the top defense of Town Hall 10. That's what stops all of these elite attacks. Without the inf now, you, you, we're not going to lose them completely. As a matter of fact, everyone's going to switch to single target mode, and they'll st you know they'll still be effective on a lot of things. But what it won't be effective on is the, the some of these mass attacks where people put the infernal towers on multi, they surround it with giant bombs to where the he heal spell and the healers can't heal through it, and that's they're able to plan and end some of these attacks that otherwise would just plow right through them. Now, what I fear is that we're going to see more of this. And this is the clan on the left being a normal clan. The clan on the right being the engineered clan. As it is right now, there are a lot of people that will not put Inferno Towers on their base because of the weight that's associated to them. Therefore, they don't, you know, they, they don't want to move up in the war lineup. And that's how we get so many players that are point fives or engineers or stay that way. Just because of the weight that's associated with the Inferno Towers. Now... One thing that I'm thinking of is that the weight for the Inferno Towers might be changed dramatically and they may eliminate some of the weight that was associated with the Inferno Towers and that can influence players that leave the Inferno Towers off of their base to put it on their base and now Supercell is kind of like a win-win because now the Engineer players will put the Inferno Towers on their base so now they've got them all and I wouldn't surprise me if they switch back right after they did that just saying <laughs> that would be pretty crafty uh, so and, and meanwhile uh, we, we switched up and we're just going to show some re replays in the background as we go into this uh, Inferno Tower thing a little bit more and so I've talked to everyone in my clan uh, I've talked to a bunch of people today I've watched every single person that I like watching that have, have videos out on it now it, everyone's pretty much said the same thing um, what this will do it is it see the, the the odd thing is this kind of goes against um, some of the things that Supercell has has put out there to the community saying that they want people to use intricate attacks they want people to use multi-phase attacks they don't want to see a mass anything anytime that there's a mass attack uh, a mass troop attack whether it be the mass miners or the mass witches uh, anytime they see that kind of attack dominating the meta they usually will do something with that troop to make it to where you have to use other troops with it in order for it to be effective. And taking out the Inferno's ability to, to burn through the heal spells, it's, it just seems that right off the rip it's going to it's gonna have a big benefit to, thing, to troops like the Miners. Who now they can, the Miners can go underneath the ground and heal up from the... They, they already could go under the ground and heal up from the Inferno Towers. Now they can heal from them while they're inside the Inferno. And in multi, it's only doing like 40 damage a second, so that it can heal through that. That they that it won't be an effective defense against miners at all, and uh, it won't be effective against balloons at all anymore. And, and now, yes, there will be players that don't understand what what the, what this will do. 
we fast. There's so much footage for this uh, for these attacks. I just fast put in times two. Um, I don't know why I do what I do, but it is in times two. <laughs> uh, anyway, the balloons are another one. They they'll you'll be able to just put a rage spell and a heal spell over the infernos, and they'll plow right over them. So th I think there's something more going on because I don't think they will take out one of the most influential defenses in the game. Uh, I think that the Infernal Towers are probably even more like iconic for the game than the Eagle Artillery because there's so many players. There's a lot of players in Town Hall 10 and I mean a lot and there's a lot of players that rely and they base their entire defense and they structure their base around the Infernal Towers and um, they have their trace trap placement all and then and the, the Tesla farms and all these other parts of their base it's all based on the Inferno Towers and what they try what they're trying to achieve with the Inferno Towers and if you when you take that away completely then uh, well first you're gonna have a lot of players kind of feel like the carpet was pulled off from underneath them because now the players and I think I'm included in that group because I, I take a lot of pride in trying to defend Especially, you know, we have a lot of players that that swap out at the number one position in our clan And if I'm at the number one position, I don't want to see a three-star next to my name So I'm going to pay more attention even more attention at that particular war than normal and make sure that I've watched every replay that I can on my base make sure that everything is in the perfect spot because I don't want to give up a three-star and I feel as if that if the infernos if they can heal right through them then it would almost be like attacking at a dead base in a way and I can't remember the last time I didn't three star dead base so there's gonna be a lot of three stars on the, on the town hall 10s and 11s we already have we're the level 14 clan we already have so many talented players attack us I can't imagine defending without uh, the, the the infernos being at their full capacity now they may change the mult the multi and give it a huge boost so yes you can heal through it but yet it's still it, it, it does maybe four times as much damage I could see that working first thing that was that will happen and this is no big surprise is that everyone will switch and put their infernal towers on single target mode and then they'll probably have to move their heroes next to the infernal towers to try to pull the clan castle troops pull those archer queens uh, anything that's on the walk into the infernal area to where hopefully it locks onto it in single target mode and then at that point uh, it can, it'll burn through anything a heal spell the only thing that saves it then is that the warden's ability So that's that's what I see with that people are gonna have to put them in single target mode Because in multi-target mode, there's just it's just not doing enough damage to any kind of troops in war now Maybe on your home village you can keep it on multi and I don't know surprise the casual player uh, by, by having your infernal towers on multi and having all the traps surrounding it and have them tri trigger all the giant bombs and maybe not hit the, the heal spell in time, but with the queen walk and the queen charge being as popular as it is People will now be able to use the archer queen to plow over the infernos and They won't be able to stop the archer queen So if you can't stop the archer queen, then how are we going to stop any elite attack in town hall 10 and 11? <sighs> Just when you think you have everything figured out that <laughs> something like this comes up now on the on the other side of things just just keep this in mind it's not it, it's never going to be the end of the world remember we have everyone has to deal with the same changes uh, and if things get really bad in other words if in the next two weeks um, the top 200 clans in in, in the league um, three star each other and we have nothing but um, all you know 100% three stars on both sides then they'll make changes they're gonna keep a close eye on this stuff this is gonna cause tons of talk there will be people you know how people are people all kinds of entitled players that will threaten to quit and they'll blow they're gonna blow supercell up talk about how this sucks or whatever um, but there are positive sides to it too some of the positive sides will be that players that haven't got a, a chance to, to, to three star once they got into town hall 10 they will for as long or, or as brief as this last be able to three star so um, f and if you're one of those players that uh, on average will um, th will three star one out of ten times or, or whatever you know this is a good chance for you to get some three stars in your belt I think people will be able to on offense people will play a lot better 
And I think that that's what the goal is because on defense, you're not really playing. The computer's playing for you on the base that you've set up. So you're not actively doing that, but yet you're actively attacking. And I think that when you three-star, it just makes you enjoy the game more. So you'll be able to enjoy the game a little more. Uh, unless you are in like that half of 1% that's at the very top that really gets off on doing the super attacks and... They get off on uh, on the wall on these wall breaker placements where they'll put a wall breaker down the wall and have the queen walk into it uh, 72 seconds later. And you know how those people are. <laughs> okay, so the video is starting to wind down. So I wanted to kind of touch up on a few things. Uh, while we're doing that though, this last attack was an attack that I did last war. And there's no eagle artillery. And the reason I actually just switched this out for a different attack that we had. The reason why I wanted to show this is it's lacking one thing. It's lacking the elite defense for Town Hall 11. Uh, because I'm a Town Hall 11, it was uh, it was simple to plow right through it. You're missing one thing, one defense, and it makes any kind of you know decent Town Hall 11 able to three star. So now if just by now you take away the ability of the Inferno Towers, and you notice that both these Inferno Towers were on multi. And I still made it through them pretty easily because I used uh, uh, the spells and I used the warden's ability. So you add a you add the ability to just to put to bring a heal spell with you every time. And really, what people will probably do is they'll replace the freeze spells with the heal spells, or they'll they'll look at the base. Especially in war, you'll be able to see the base. You'll see that they have single target infernos instead, and then you can alter your troop count. And you'll put, you'll start putting in troops like uh, hog riders or or, um, or the witches that can just overwhelm, or miners or balloons <laughs> that can just overwhelm the single target infernos. They are the center of all these defensive. Uh, all they're the center of all town hall ten defense. So, uh, and now another another factor too that we have to consider is the war weight. If the war weight is not changed dramatically, then this will add to the engineered problem because there's a lot of players out there right now that will not put Inferno Towers on their base because of how much weight it adds to them. And this is how we have so many engineered clans out there. It starts off with, uh, you know, starts off with the Infernos and the Expos and the Eagle Artillery. And now they've even figured out how the mortars and, and the wizard towers and all that. So now I know they're working on that. They're adding weight to the troops. So they're evening things out a little more. Uh, but you take away some of the effectiveness of the infernal towers without changing their weight And I mean dramatically you will see more and more players not add them to the base because there's no real incentive to add Something that has so much weight to your base if it's not going to be able to do half of its half of what it does now So it's another huge consideration And what I'm saying is that these things have been considered the changes are coming like they are and I'm just gonna say now I'll be surprised if that's it if we don't have another item complementing these big changes you throw in one more item that will add a ton of defense for Town Hall 10 then all of a sudden this will make a lot more sense um, if not we're just gonna have to see how it plays out and uh, just remember this game is that you're, we're, we're here to have fun and it, if let's say uh, you get three starred every single attack for the next five or six wars you, you just have to know that that's gonna be temporary so don't quit, don't do anything drastic, just hang in there and, and things get fixed up. That's how it always works. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel guys. I got I got another update video coming up. I'm going to kind of evenly go over everything because I kind of focus on the infernos. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care everybody.